What's going on guys? My name's Caleb. I'm an energy advisor here at Energy Sage, as it says so on my shirt. And today I'm here to talk a little bit about heat pumps and all the exciting features that they have and why they're good for you. So you may be wondering if an air source heat pump is the right choice for you as a homeowner. That's going to boil down to a couple factors. The location and climate in which you live in, your budget and cost, what kind of property you have, and your existing heating and cooling system will all be important factors in determining which option is right for you, either mini splits or a ducted system. You may be wondering how much is it going to cost to switch to an air source heat pump. This is going to depend on a number of factors including location and if you have a central system or mini split system. As a rough estimate, you can expect a ductless system to have a cost of anywhere from $3,500 to $6,000 per indoor head. For ducted units, the cost is estimated to be between $12,000 and $20,000 up front. However, with rebates and local incentives, that'll bring the net investment down considerably depending on where you live. So be sure to check with your local utility company. You may be wondering, how do I compare heat pump installers and quotes? Firstly, I recommend getting a home energy assessment to get an accurate read of the ebb and flow of energy within your home. This will influence how installers size your heat pump. Next, determine which kind of heat pump suits your needs, whether that's a whole home system, partial system, or mini splits. Then, you're gonna to wanna to contact two to three reputable installers in your area. Be sure to verify that they install the type of equipment that you prefer. Once you receive at least two proposals, then we're gonna compare the equipment quality, warranties, and some information about the installer themselves. How many heat pumps do I need for my home? Great question. Like many other heat pump related questions, the answer depends on a number of things. It's gonna depend on largely on the goals of your heat pump system, whether it's partial, it's a supplemental heating source, or it's a whole home backup system. To size a heat pump, an installer will take into account your preferences, as well as the insulation condition of your home, number of rooms, and other HVAC related questions. How does an air source heat pump compare to other HVAC options? For those who aren't familiar with the term, HVAC refers to heating, ventilation, air conditioning. And heat pump compares to other HVAC systems like a furnace, a boiler, or a central AC unit. However, a heat pump is the most efficient form of heating and cooling. So you may be wondering, does a heat pump work in extremely cold weather? The answer is usually yes. Given recent advances in technology, we now can say with confidence that cold climate certified heat pumps can still comfortably heat your home well below zero degrees depending on the model. Some of you may be wondering, can a heat pump really save me money? The answer is yes, but it'll depend on a couple things, such as your existing heating or cooling system. Compared to other fossil fuel sources like fuel oil, propane, and electric resistance heating, a heat pump is much more operationally efficient because it does not generate heat, rather it moves it from outdoors. This results in annual savings of anywhere from $500 to $900. How much electricity does a heat pump use? It depends on a couple of factors the size of the heat pump, your geographical location, and your usage of the unit. In general, five months of cooling will require about 7,300 kilowatt hours. On the flip side, five months of heating is gonna require around 13,000 kilowatt hours. How does a heat pump compare to a gas furnace? Well, a heat pump is a cleaner alternative to a gas furnace, so instead of burning fossil fuel, a heat pump uses electricity from the grid or from solar panels. Unlike a furnace, it has dual functionality of both heating and cooling, while a furnace only heats. Heat pumps also have the ability to dehumidify the air, as well as giving you the ability to remotely control the temperature via your smartphone or computer. Such features do not exist in furnaces and boilers. 